Hello everyone, it's Najwa again and welcome back to my channel. It's a new year, it's 2021 and I'm here today to be doing my annual new year resolution. If you watch my, my 2020 video, I, I jinxed myself by saying that let's make 2020 a perfect year. And then COVID comes in like, no bitch. I'm here now. We all know that 2020 is not like a good year for all of us. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's a terrible thing and we don't see it coming. So it's like, it's a shock for, for all of us. Um, it affected me too in terms of career-wise. I remember it from last year. One of my resolutions for 2020 is to get a job. And I did get a job. And I did get a job in February, which I was very thankful for um, but unfortunately the COVID-19 uh, pandemic is affecting most of the industry and all private sectors so I got laid off on October so I lost my job in October this year so I only had like 10 months of um, experience at working at my first job which I think I've learned a lot. Um, I've learned a lot throughout those 10 months, which I'm very thankful for. And I think that those uh, skills and what I've, done, I've learned from that job has brought me to, to another job, um, Alhamdulillah. Yeah, so I've been actively applying for jobs as soon as I got the news that I was retrenched. So it was, it was exhausting to say, to say the least because I was working and at the same time I was actively applying for jobs and you know updating my resume uh, going for interviews but thankfully uh, all throughout the year I was working from home so those things will were done very were done very easily because like my my interviews are mostly on are mostly a virtual interview and there was only this one interview interview that I had to go to the office to do a face-to-face -face interview. But most of them are actually like just virtual interviews, which makes my life so much easier so that I can balance my work and also my, you know, job hunting stuff. Oh my God, I've been babbling about this job hunting for four minutes. So let's get on to this 2021 resolution. Most of them are not exactly ambitious and it's not exactly different than last year. So I'm just gonna you know, repeat myself, but I, I did, I did have a full on list. So let's get started. So the first resolution I've kept for myself ever since last year is I want to keep myself fit and live a healthy lifestyle. Uh, I've been on a diet for quite a while. So I'm hoping that this year I would get to shed some pounds as well as keep myself healthy, you know, like, the thing with me is that I am my last na exercise. Tapi, I suka makan, so like, I can't do this sedentary lifestyle anymore. So I get to, I have to get up and keep track of what I eat so that I could live healthily. It's not for just physicality, but it's also for the sake of my health. Number two in my list is that I want to save money. I have been saving money ever since, since that I started earning my own money. I have been saving every month uh, a consistent amount of savings unless I had to do, I had to use it for, you know, rainy days and emergencies and, you know, maybe buying something that I've, I'm saving for. And the purpose that I saved money was actually to go travel, but you know, COVID, um, Next thing in my list is that I want to have some sort of career progression in my career. I would want myself to grow, uh, to have some kind of growth in my in my career role. And maybe I could, you know, like lead the team or uh, I don't know, like, um, you know, take new roles or assist um, some juniors that's going to come in, you know, and stuff like that. Taking that step towards that career progression to be able to you know like lead and talk to talk in front of people and know what i'm gonna do and know my role and you know like show that i am capable of doing things and capable of leading 
the team uh yeah i want myself to be better in terms of that next is uh this i have been wanting to do this for quite a while because um before this i didn't quite have that motivation but you know after seeing tiktoks and people decorating their room in this pandemic in, in quarantine i just feel like very i just feel motivated to do so so next in 2021 i'm gonna do a room decor like i'm gonna decorate my room the way i want it i've been you know like having ideas on, on how to decorate my room so you know like stay tuned next i am going to pick up a new productive hobby this year uh okay so you know like every year i would say that i will want to i want to write more okay let's get that back into the list but also pick up a new hobby that is also related to writing so what i'm thinking is i'm going to do some journaling and diary writing so it's like i'm journaling i'm bullet journaling like other people is doing like you know those aesthetically pleasing bullet journals that i've seen but i'm also going to write in those journals so like i'm going to write poetry or like maybe like a short story or prose or something you know anything to get like my writing mind going because i haven't been writing in i haven't been writing at all this year i mean like i do write sometimes but like it's 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 a rare occasion and i don't want my writing to get rusty so like i have to do this right I have to do this next besides writing i also want to read more this is a reading channel anyway so i've put myself for 2021 i'm going to read 21 books like last year for 2020 i put 20 books in which i read 10 i think or maybe less than that but it's okay it's okay i'm not gonna pressure myself but this year i'm gonna put my goal as 21 and let's see if i will reach that goal i will achieve that goal i i hope so because i have a lot of tbr like i i, I bought a lot of books in 2020 and my tbr is just looking at me like bitch what you doing you have all these books unread on your shelf yet you buy new ones so i'm gonna set up a new a new rule i'm gonna have to read five to ten books and only then i can reward myself to buy new books yeah that's fair enough right um the goal that i set for myself is that i want to watch more um productive videos and knowledge videos like i want to be watching a lot more ted talks religious talks like chirama and stuff and what else i want to be watching a lot of documentaries the news to get myself updated i just feel like now i'm very ignorant towards the world and i've only known stuff from my twitter timeline which i think it's a good thing because like thank you thank you people of twitter for keeping me updated but i realized that i'm not i'm not i don't know these things in depth and i i don't know some sort of things in depth as well so it's like when i i try to have a conversation with people of these things and i don't know certain stuff it just makes me feel like i can't defend myself like i have an opinion i have i have my own opinion but but without the without sufficient knowledge i just feel like it's not valid does, does that make sense like i can't defend my own opinion if i don't have that knowledge of what i'm talking about you know so let's try for that this year hopefully last but not least i am going to try to do more vlogs and videos it's hard for me to do videos and vlogs now because i'm at home and my family's around and my youtube channel is sort of like off limits for family if that makes sense i don't my siblings know that i have a youtube channel but my parents don't and a lot of my family don't so like i don't want them to know because i'm just insecure about it just it feels like my safe space here so like i don't know if people would understand that so yeah but uh i, I i'm gonna try to make more videos this year i'm gonna have to plan and also one thing that uh that 
stops me from doing from posting new videos is because of my laziness to edit them so that's all from my list it's it's not as ambitious as last year and it's not as you know good as well but i think that this is my mission for now for this year maybe i would achieve a lot along the way without even noticing without even you know um putting it on my list of goals we you know unconsciously we just putting ourselves goals that we could achieve along the way um but anyway happy new year um i hope that this year would be a better year for all of us i hope that you all are staying safe and staying healthy and staying sane as well it's important for you to take care of your mental health and also physical health as well check up on your friends uh and your family and see how they're doing with technology now there's no excuse that you can't check up on them so you know just check up on them happy new year once again and i hope that you all are gonna have a great year ahead i'll see you guys next time bye happy new year